Hey, this is Tilak. Welcome back to one more session of Fast Formula. Last time we saw that how to develop a simple parent and child fast formula. In other words, a formula is calling another formula. In this session, we see how a parent fast formula call a child formula from different LDGs. Before we get into formula calling a formula, we understand how the uniqueness of the formula operates. Let me explain again, though I explained that concept in our one of our previous session, I explain again. When you are having a formula without LDG, that is a global formula, that has got a uniqueness in the application level. You cannot have a two formula in the same name when at least one formula is developed, I mean, uh, created without LDG. So there's only one formula can exist. Okay. In the other hand, if you are developing a formula with LDG, that is unique within the LDG. So you can have a one more formula in a same name in a different LDG, but you can't have it in a non-LDG because when you are developing a non-LDG that has kind of, kind of a universal, uh, I mean, the application level, so you can't have one more in LDG. So there is only one formula can exist without LDG, the same name, the same formula cannot exist even in LDG. But if you are having a formula within the LDG, the same name can exist in a different LDG. Let's get into the formula to see how it works, okay. Now I already have a child formula without LDG. So the same name cannot exist even within the LDG. Let me see, I let me develop a formula. Let me copy the name. I'm going to develop, create a same formula within a LDG. Let's see how does it works. Okay, it is immaterial, whichever uh, like uh, formula type you are choosing, regardless of formula type, the name exists. I mean, name is validated. Compensation person selection, create the same name. My LDG, I go to US LDG, GPA United States. Okay, return. I'm just kind of putting away. Okay. That's the matter. Okay. The base formula with the same name already exists in the unique name. So you cannot have a formula with the same name. Okay. So because there's a formula exist without LDG. Now I go back. Yes. Okay. Compensation person selection. Without, I delete this. I think. Sorry, I think this is that's a problem with that. This is what it is. There's no LDG. You can see there's no LDG. So I delete this one. Okay. Okay. Now I have a formula. Now let me go and create the formula. The same LDG with compensation person selection. I go for I GB United States. That is one, one, two thousand. Okay. Let me copy paste that. Okay, just I put 
share PBS. PBS. I'm not in this window at this moment. Okay. Save. Go back. This one I choose within the LDG. See, you have a child formula, the LDG. Now let me create the same formula in a different LDG. Let's see. Okay. Same formula. I'm choosing the same type. Compensation person selection. Compensation person selection LDG is DBA United Kingdom. Same date. Continue. Okay. Copy the same thing. I'm putting this UK. This is also I'm putting UK. Save. See, I can save. There's no problem. It is saving the same name for the UK and US. So, okay, I create one more for China. So I go UK. If you are searching it, you see that formula there. Okay, now I'll create for China. I put the same name. Type compensation person selection. Okay. United case. Okay. China LTG. Continue. I'm copying the save first formula. Just change the CN. CN. I'm putting the CN here. Save. Copy it. So we created for China too. Now we go like okay, China, China. Okay, China. Did you have it? Okay. Now let me go back to the to the parent formula and see how the parent is calling. Parent formula. See what his parent is doing here. It is just validating the child is exist. So we explained how that works for a different people. And if the child is exist, then whatever is writing it, that's fine. Okay, okay, during is one more time we wrote that. Okay, I'm leaving it as it is. Then it is getting calling the child formula. That is what it is doing. Okay, that's fine. And let's see, like we will execute the formula and see how that that execution happens. Get into the okay. Now we look at the lock. We get into that first line of the lock. Let's see. Now it is entering into the parent formula. Uh, we saw that the parent formula is called twice, so like in that mean log twice, so ignore that part, person ID. Now it is calling that UVS child path formula. 
So we know that the person is from U.S. So it is called U.S. Child Park Mala. So when you are coming to the second part, it doesn't call any like it doesn't call any child formula even because even it doesn't lock the second one because that is within the F condition it doesn't call so that now we understand that here the person is not belongs to one of the three LDG that is US, UK, China so the child formula does not exist for this person so it is not calling the child formula Now let's see if there is any UK. Hey, let me look that for uh, UK and China. Let's see. Okay. Now if you are looking here, entering child formula, leaving child formula. So UK. In this case, the person is from UK, so UK is called. Now let's see about China. Okay, here the China. Okay, now there are four options available here. One is uh, US employee is coming in US. It is looking at the US formula. Child formula is executing it. When that uh, UK person is coming, the UK for child formula executed. China, China formula executed. If a person who is not coming from any of that these three, then no child formula is executed, and it is also not erroring. It is not erroring because we do the validation of existence of the formula before we execute the formula. If we don't validate that X is executable command, then it could possibly error because you are calling the child formula that does not exist. So whenever you call the child formula, make sure you validate the existence of the child formula, then you call it. That's, I hope you understood that the concept of uh, LDG, how that you call the child formula with LDG. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or uh, like, you know, suggestions, please put it in comment. See you soon with another formula. Thank you.